All right, I'm gonna do a quick walk around on, on this unit, the HT23. Uh, it's a power washer and the soft wash unit. So, make sure your key's in it. Make sure you got oil. You always start in the off position. Burner off, temperature off. Okay. Uh, next, here's where you check your oil. It's perfect. On the, on the pump, Engine oil, you check right here. I'm going to pull it out. Yeah, I can see oil, so that's cool. I know the guys have checked it. It is winterized, which you don't have to worry about. You just run it. The antifreeze will clear itself out. We do attach a retorque tag. So there's a lot of bolts and nuts on this unit, including the lug nuts, that you want to check on a regular basis, just like a car. It's got to have some service on it. Okay, these are the water filters. You want to kind of keep your eye on those. If they start getting dirty, you have to shut the water off right here. And then spin off, that's the valve. Spin these off, then check the filters. Clean them, put these back on. That's, that's uh, how you do it. You don't tighten them all the way up when you've taken them off. You let the water on and let, let that water get the air out of them. If the unit air locks, there's a little Schroeder valve, like an air bicycle valve. You just take that off and the inside of it, while it's running, you let the air out right there. See my nail actually almost got a smaller, so I'm going to put that back on. Okay, that's kind of, there's your basic startup. We're going to walk around to the back, make sure your water's on. Make sure you got water in your tank. We get a lot of calls, say it's not running. Well, then we ask them, is there water in the tank? I'm going to open these as we go around as well. So this unit, we've got the, the hose and gun that's for the surface cleaner. We've also got your parts in here. Now, I want to go over parts. It's just an overview, and then we're going to run it. Now, if you're going to run two guns, it's just like using, uh, taking a shower and somebody flushes the toilet. It's going to cut the flow in half. So we have different nozzles. We have a two-gun nozzle and a one-gun nozzle pack. Okay. With all our units, we include safety glasses and gloves. Super important, especially when you're going to run the soft wash on this unit. Now you've got O-rings. Those are inside of the hoses. you got a larger O-ring and a smaller O-ring, a three-eighths and a quarter. So depending on which O-ring you might need to change, I see one right here. We'll just kind of show it as an example. If this is leaking around... around this fitting, that means that O-ring's out. Now that's the quarter inch side, down up, down inside. I don't know if the camera can really hit it, but at least you got the idea of that. They're real easy to change. Put this back, put, put, put that big thing away. There we go, a little bit awkward. That's your spray gun. Now inside the toolbox, down inside, you have an additive that goes into the diesel fuel. Don't intermix these fuels. You got gasoline on the label, diesel on the label. This, you add a cap full to the diesel when you go to fill up the diesel, okay? And the gasoline is just fine. If you're not gonna run it for a while, you might wanna put some gasoline additive in there to condition the fuel because ethanol and the fuel is really bad for your fuel lines. Now here's your O-ring pick. 
here's your fuel filter that goes on your burner system the spray bar has four sprays you hook your gun into it and you can walk along and spray beautiful item this unit here is to clean gutters now make sure you're holding on to your gun when that when you got that in the gutter because it'll want to flip around so hold on to this you know I'm not like that but hold on to the gun really tight because it like cleaning the gutter right here you want to keep it in the groove okay those are the accessories I'm gonna go ahead and put this back the truck is waiting for this out front I'll just kind of latch that like that for now keys to the toolbox side toolboxes are here okay this unit's been wired with the strobe and the night lights boy and they're bright great job on that okay back inside we have your surface cleaner make sure that you reattach it the way it is you got a, a wing nut and a nice strap if this strap starts wearing out get a new one okay you don't want this bouncing down the freeway we've done 500 of them like this yeah <coughs> so far so good okay so make sure that's that's in there good this valve here controls you hook your your pressure hose up here and I'm gonna hook the the other pressure hose up as well we'll show how that works come on baby okay so this one has a little holder here I keep my voice I try to talk a little bit louder so okay this quick couples into this and then your pressure hose hooks here we're gonna assume this is on the ground don't drive off with this attached here or you're gonna drag it down the road okay we don't well, that's what you don't want so always take a minute walk around the back end of your or the whole trailer make sure you didn't leave nozzles guns or something hanging out I, I've done that so and then this is your control valve which way this way is it that way why am I that way oh hello so so this way I'm thinking it's on this way's off okay so you hook your hose here and you can either run the pressure hose or you run the surface cleaner okay on that I'm gonna stay on the power wash side for a minute then we'll cover the soft wash unit always make sure check your lug nuts and all that let's see what what we got in here okay uh, we'll get a little sign for the soft wash unit and then uh, I'll go ahead and close that lots of storage that's nice okay you get two power wash hoses here this right here controls whether they're on or off in the up position I assume or the up position yeah I was right on that so that that controls the upper hose on or off off on so if I'm gonna start the power washer I'll take this fitting off right here and if I'm running just one gun if I'm by myself following all the safety procedures gloves glasses boots I think you gotta dress for the job because again this when you're cleaning it can create a lot of splashbacks so protect your eyes protect your hands with all this so I'd pull this off I'd hook my gun right here is how I like to start I'll come over here now we have one more it's off so that's on right Chris yeah I know what I'm doing kind of sort of now inside here you've also got no ring so the startup procedure I'd have my gun on here pull the trigger choke right there these engines like to be choked when they're cold chokes right there I'm gonna run it just for a sec I've choked it now one thing that I I, I know this isn't hot don't ever touch the muffler when it's hot okay 
there's a fuel line right there. We had to install it. Let's see if you can see it. Can you see it in that picture? So here's off. There's on. There's off. There's on. I want to make sure that fuel line, make sure that fuel line gets shut off on a hot day. You can probably see it better right through there. And it's in the on position, right? Yeah, with, with the hoses in the on position. So I might as well hook a gun to this. Okay. So this unit, I know I grabbed the, the nozzles out of there. You want to select your nozzle, uh, depending on which nozzle you want, and that quick couple's in right there. Boy, you can hear that throttle of his Ken, or is that a Pete? Yeah, Kenworth truck. Okay, see that? Here's how we're going to start. Pull the trigger. Choke. Make sure your, your heaters, both of those are in the off position. Okay, so we're good to go. Now, once I've let that go, now I'll turn the heater on. Then I clean, and then make sure you cool it down. Okay, when you're done washing, cool it down. That's really important. Okay, let go of the trigger. I like to pull the trigger and let that pressure off when it's done. Okay, make sure I didn't blow out an O-ring. I did not, thank you. All right. So again, once, you, once you've got it running, then you turn your heater on. And when you're done cleaning, you turn your heater off to cool it down. Okay, now we're going to go back and run the soft wash. Okay, soft wash. Let's go over the engine first. You're gonna make sure the fuel line right here is on. Just follow the little fuel tank. Okay, we're on. Now this here is choke. Okay, and this is throttle. So we're gonna start it maybe in the low position up just a little bit. I made sure the fuel's on, make sure you got fuel in it. Okay. This unit's key start. $1,200 upgrade on the key start. It's okay. I'm gonna, now this is called a J-Rod. I don't know, kind of a cool name for a, four different nozzles. You can undo it and choose whichever size nozzle you want to spray with. Okay. We'll go with the, the big, big nozzle there. Now, the soft wash unit itself, there's your start position. Up, start, down is to, to clean, to spray. Start position, down. This adjusts the pressure. You don't have to do too much with that, okay? <coughs> it's gear driven. Once a year, probably check that gear fluid. Make sure it's not hot. Of course, don't burn yourself with that. Now, let's, pre let's go over the selector on this before we fire this up. I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna put this gun away. The truck's here to haul this off. I'll just set this in here for now. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and open, the, open up the selector box. Okay, so this unit, you've got your water on or off. Follow the arrow, off, on. We're gonna leave it in the on because we're gonna run this unit. The detergent is your foaming agent. Roof snot or something like that is the recommended product. Make sure it's compliant with your SH, the sodium hyperchlorite. We're gonna kind of leave these set where they're at for now. Make sure the water's on. I'm gonna go ahead and close that container. 
again this is your detergent tank for your, for your surfactant, your foamy agent. The other tanks for your sodium hypochlorite. Okay. Check your fittings on a regular basis. <coughs> sodium hypochlorite will eat through almost anything. So make sure you've got gloves and the glasses to protect yourself or face shield depending on how strong you're going to mix it. We did these different colors so we could show how it mixes. Okay. So next on it, over here, we got the key start. So we're in the start position. Make sure up start. Okay. I'm going to grab the gun just like I did on the other one. And we're, we're coming off that way, which is fine. Um, I think I'm golden. Good to go, Ace. Chris? Yep. I'm so used to pulling the trigger. I'll pull the trigger anyway. Hey, we got blue coming out. Fuel on. So there, I unchoked it. Okay. So we're going to soft wash. Yeah, let me show that. So back here, so I had it in the uh, off position. So now we got to put it in the on position. Hello. So there we go. We're just. Wind's kind of blowing that way, so that's. We're going into the wind a little. That's solid 40 feet. Yeah, we're going into the wind. We're going to spray our truck. We'll go with the wind here. Wow. let the pressure off and then we're going to put that in the up position right there and then make sure your fuels off before you transport now keep your eye on the SH tank because this this unit uh, is mixing the detergent all the time so keep your eye on the fittings on the SH and the SH that's in your tank, make sure those fittings are holding up good. I'd only batch enough for maybe a day's work. I wouldn't make a ton of it in case of, because fittings will leak. We just tell people that it, it happens. Because SH, which is bleach, is really aggressive. There's other detergents that aren't as aggressive. You might want to uh, research out, but this is designed to spray it. So once I've let that pressure off, Drain the hose a little bit. I'm going to take out my my uh, J-Rod, as it's called. And I'm going to take your hose off. Now this is wearing gloves. I don't have gloves on, but this fitting goes right here. I didn't drain it real good, but that's how that goes. This gun goes right here. A little carrying deal for that. I'm going to put this in the toolbox. Uh, and make sure your fuel's off on that. Make sure you've picked up everything. Uh, probably not a bad idea, just kind of talking out loud, is to make sure maybe when you're done at the end of a day, where I, I'd recommend probably after every job, I'd, I'd shut the uh, sodium hypochlorite off and run it just a little bit with no detergent and just the water and run the water through the pump. What do you think, Chris? That's yep. a good idea, huh? That'll extend the life of the pump. Factories are not warranting pumps when you're running 
sodium hypochlorite just by the way. Uh, so that'll help extend the life of the pump. Although I know guys that run this type of equipment that knock down enough to pay for this rig in a couple of weeks. So, uh, you know, there's, there's always a little give and take on stuff. But uh, now make sure you pick up everything, lock up everything. I'll probably leave those on zero for now. We gotta winterize that. I'm gonna put the uh, J-Rod back and uh, uh, be safe, make lots of money. We appreciate it, thank you.